Hi guys and welcome back to another video now today what I'm going to be bringing you is season 6 episode 5 of City signings now this morning Bradford City completed the signing of Ryan East the central midfielder from Swindon Town on an initial two year contract now if you do go on to enjoy today's video a like as always will be massively appreciated if you could try and hit 70 likes on today's video that'd be absolutely class subscribe if you are new as well we are now on the road to 6,000 subscribers so make sure you are subscribed with that post notification bell on get your thoughts on this signing down in the comment section down below Swindon fans I know he didn't play all too much last season for you but let me know your thoughts on him down in the comment section down below according to Simon Parker this is an Elliot Watt replacement or it looks like it will be an Elliot Watt replacement so we'll speak about a comparison between the two later on in today's video but make sure you drop a like on it subscribe if you are new as well and let's get on with today's video so we're going to take it back to yesterday when a couple of pictures got leaked on social media of what looked like a, a player in the north west corner wearing shorts doing keepy up is in it looks like a new sign it looked like maybe Levi Sutton some people say Matt Butcher or Will Grigg this signing Ryan East his announcement video he's in the family stand or the main stand and he's wearing jeans or long trousers so I don't think it's the player who we saw in yesterday's video I'll put them photos I probably will have already put them on screen but at 7.58 this morning Bradford City tweeted saying breaking news introducing our all new 22-23 Macron Sports training wear oh and all so our latest signing, Ryan East. Now, in terms of the training kit, I think the front and the design on the sleeves is very nice. Not sure I'm a big fan of what's on the back. I think the JCT 600 and the Bradford City is a bit big, but it's a training kit at the end of the day. doesn't really matter all too much. The article does then read, East moves north to join Bantams. Bradford City is delighted to announce a signing of midfielder Ryan East on an initial two-year deal. The 23-year-old arrives at the Utility Energy Stadium on an agreement which will keep him in West Yorkshire until at least the conclusion conclusion of the 22-23 season. That doesn't really make sense. It's meant to be a two-year deal, but according to that, it's going to keep him here until at least the end of one season. That doesn't really make sense. They say it's an initial two-year deal as well, but there's no mention of the option of a further year. I don't think it would be the end of the world for them just to include if we have got another contract option in him. It doesn't really make sense, but it says it's a two-year deal, but also says that he's only going to be here until at least the end of next season. So I'm not really too, too sure what's going on there, but that also comes from following the expiry of his contract at Swindon Town. Having started his career at Reading, East moved to the county ground last summer, making 23 appearances for Ben Garner's side. He spent a total of 11 years in the Royals' youth ranks after joining at the age of nine, becoming the club's 50th academy graduate when making his first team debut in the Skybet Championship against Leeds United in March 2019. He said, I'm absolutely delighted to be here. It is a massive club with a proud history and I cannot wait to get going. When I met the manager, he sold it to me straight away. He wants to play a style of football that suits me. I like to have the ball on the floor and move it around. I think my time at Swindon sets me up well to play here. We did well last year getting into the playoffs and I want to go one better than that. The ambition of everyone at this club is clear. As a player, you do not want to go somewhere and be happy to sit mid-table. You want to be winning things and I cannot wait to start playing in front of the fans. City manager Mark Hughes said, Ryan is a player we are very excited about and are really pleased to be able to bring him to the club. His intelligence, both in and out of possession and reading of the game, shows maturity beyond his years. He has the ability to dictate play and fits well with the brand of football we want to implement. At 23, he is still young and a great age to develop. We have been impressed by what we have seen of him so far. We look forward to seeing him in action and are sure he's excited to show everyone at Bradford City what he can do. East will be sponsored by Stephen Abbott Financial Services for the 22-23 season with his signing subject to the relevant EFL and FA clearances. Now, at the time of recording, Swindon haven't said anything about his departure. They put their return list out a couple of days ago and he wasn't offered a new contract. But now what I want to do is compare some of his stats with Elliot Watt's stats from last season. Now, it's a bit of a small portion size for for Ryan East, he only played 16 matches last season, starting five of those, only averaging 28 minutes per game. If we compare that to Elliot Watt, he played 41 matches last season, starting all 41, and he averaged 84 minutes per game. He also made two Team of the Week appearances compared to Ryan East zero. Now, it could all still come out that Elliot Watt does end up signing a new contract, but according to Simon Parker, who I think was quite a reliable source to take from, it doesn't look like he will be uh, accepting a new contract at the club. If we compare their attacking stats, Ryan East this season scored zero goals, had 0.2 shots per game, 0.1 shots on target per game. Compared to Elliot Watt, he was a little bit better going forward. He scored two goals last season, averaging a goal every 1,729 minutes. He averaged one shot per game and 0.1 shots on target per game. 
game as well. In terms of their passing stats, now this is something that might come to shock maybe a couple of Bradford fans because I've seen... The, the majority of people on social media would say that, not that they're disappointed with this signing, just that they don't think that he's up to the standard to replace Elliot Watt as that deep line playmaker. Because we all know Elliot Watt under Mark Hughes was a very good player. But in terms of their passing stats, last season, Elliot Watt got three assists compared to uh, Ryan East. I don't think he got one assist, to be honest with you. In terms of touches per 90, Ryan East averaged 25.3 and Elliot Watt averaged 61.7. But that's understandable with the amount more that Elliot Watt played. In terms of big chances created, Elliot Watt created five last season compared to Ryan East zero. Key passes per game, Ryan East had 0.6 compared to Elliot Watt's 1.5. So at the moment, he definitely is favouring Elliot Watt, but you could say because he's played nearly three times the amount of matches, and I don't, I don't have an exact comparison of how many minutes were played, um, it's understandable why Elliot Watt has more of them stats. But the next couple of stats that I want to compare is something that doesn't really matter your game time, because I feel like East played enough last season to compare his game time. In terms of his passing accuracy, Ryan East had an 86% passing accuracy last season. Elliot Watt only had 71%. In terms of passing accuracy in the Euro and half, Elliot Watt had 83%. Ryan East had 90%. Passing accuracy in the opposition half, Ryan East had 82%. That compared to Elliot Watt's 62%. Accurate long balls, Elliot Watt had 45% compared to Ryan East 43%. Accurate chip passes, Elliot Watt had 43%. Ryan East had 33%. And then accurate crosses per game uh, was was 0.3 for Ryan East, 57% of those, and then Elliot Watt was one, but only 33% of his were successful. So you can clearly see there it's more likely that Ryan East will give the ball away less than Elliot Watt, but defensive stats definitely does favour Elliot Watt. That was a big criticism that Swindon fans had of Ryan East was he's not the strongest. He definitely needs to, you know, get some strength was pretty much the main summary I got from it. Swindon fans, uh, the majority seemed to rate him, but he was never going to get into their midfield when you've got Johnny Williams, Jack Payne, especially Louis Reed. He didn't really stand all too much of a chance of playing. But in terms of defensive stats, Elliot Watt averaged 1.5 interceptions per game. That compared to Ryan East, 0.2. He had 0.7 tackles per game compared to Elliot Watt's two. Possession wins per game, Elliot Watt had 0.2 per game, Ryan East had 0.1. Dribble pass per game was 0.0 for Ryan East, so he didn't get dribble passed once throughout the whole season. Compared to Elliot Watt, he got dribble passed 1.2 times per game. So Elliot Watt also had 1.5 clearances per game compared to Ryan East 0.3. But playing in two different systems, it's kind of a little bit hard to compare them start statistics, but I think it is something definitely that I would like you know to add in there. In terms of average rating this season, Elliot Watt in the league Average is 6.96 according to Sofa Score, whereas Ryan East averages 6.73. In terms of discipline, Ryan East did not get one yellow or red card throughout the whole season, whereas Elliot Watt got 10 yellows, one red, and one double yellow red card. So you could definitely see that Elliot Watt's discipline has been really poor this season, but again, we've been playing more matches. It is understandable that he'll probably get a few more yellow cards, but to get 10 more yellow cards than Ryan East, it's not like he's played just a couple more matches. You know, he played significantly more matches and significantly more minutes throughout the season but I think that probably tells you that East is probably a better passer of the ball. He's going to be more accurate, but that could well just be Swindon's system. Whereas Elliot Watt is probably going to be better in terms of your defensive work, winning the ball back. And don't get me wrong, Elliot Watt is still very good at passing the ball. But how many times in that last season have we seen him give the ball and get really frustrated? Because pre-Mark Hughes, he wasn't the greatest. But since Mark Hughes has come in, I think he really has transformed Elliot Watt. And we're playing a system that really does suit him. But a little bit of a comparison. I'm obviously always going to welcome him to the club and wish him all the best because that is where I'm going to leave it for today's video if you have enjoyed a like as always will be massively appreciated if you could join it 70 likes as I said at the start of today's video that would be absolutely class subscribe if you are new as well we are now on the road to 6,000 subscribers so make sure you are subscribed if you haven't already with that post notification bell on get your thoughts on this signing down in the comment section down below Bradford fans Swindon fans let me know all your thoughts even if there's any Reading fans what did you make of him as well when he was at your club have a great rest of your day thank you for watching I shall see you all very soon for another video Peace.